The best motivation to study is food. Miss Smith is a master of disguise. And poor Yorick is her constant companion. Yorick is the best place to hide candy. Let's put on some glasses and no one will suspect a thing. Miss Smith is going so fast. You need super strength to keep up with her. But Jessica has a super whiteout to fix her mistakes. And super snacks to stay alert. Attach a round container from glitter to a bottle of whiteout. Prime it with white acrylic paint. Glue a long label to the whiteout and container. Put chocolate covered raisins into the container. Close the lid. Hey Jess, is there candy in your whiteout? No, Rosie, you must have imagined it. There's no secret compartment here. And I'll eat all the candy myself. Miss Smith is always watching to make sure that not a single snack makes it into her classroom. But the girls know how to trick the system. A chip's glue stick will never let you down. Cut off the lower wheel of an empty glue stick. Remove the inner rod. Thoroughly clean out the insides. Hot glue the bottom back on. Spray Pringles chips with water. Wait for 10 to 15 minutes for the chips to soak. Use the glue stick tube to cut out circles. Dry the mini chips in an oven. And put them in the tube. Mini chips are so delicious. The best part is, Miss Smith has no idea. Glue is no match for my marker. Trim the upper part of a marker and the cap using a heated knife. Make a hot glue base. Glue the marker plug onto a pack of candy. Open the second side of the package and eat one candy. Put the top of the marker inside. Tape it. Color the sweet marker with acrylic paint. And add a label and a logo. Jessica wanted to open the candy dramatically, but it didn't work. These are just Meller candies after all. At least they're delicious. Miss Smith thinks the girls' attempts to hide their food are so funny. Learn from the master, you newbies. You'll never guess what's hidden inside this pencil cup. Prime a cardboard tube container with white acrylic paint. Color it pink. Glue on cute pictures of bears. Cover the paws and hearts with glue and sprinkle glitter on top. Shake off the excess. Put a can of Coke into the tube. Fill the rest of the space with pencils and insert straws. Miss Smith is drinking right out of the pencil case. What's in there? A pencil smoothie? Nobody has any idea that there's a can of Coke inside. Now that's how you sneak food into school. Rosie takes out her crayons. So what? They're just school supplies. No, come on. The most interesting part is inside. Wrap Oreos in tin foil.
and put them into an empty Crayola box. This one box of crayons has enough cookies to last us a whole day. Great idea! Cray Oreos taste way better than regular Oreos. How can you get our girls to participate in class at the blackboard? Just make some sweet magnets for them. Prime small round jars. And then paint them bright colors. Write big letters on the lid. Cover them with clear nail polish. Glue magnets to the bases of the jars. Fill one jar with Nutella and put tiny cookies in the second one. Ooh, finally! My students want to answer my questions. The competition is intense. Rosie, come to the board. That's what Rosie wanted. Since she loves Nutella with cookies. Art class, why would you use regular paint if you can use sweet M&M's paint instead? Sort M&M's by color. Put them into clean containers from paint. Attach printed labels of matching colors to the containers. Mark the lids with the same colors and the candy logo. Tone a box of paints yellow. Put the containers inside. Miss Smith loves M&Ms too. Please, go ahead. These candies have one side effect, dancing. Five minutes of partying in class and everyone is happy again. Even Miss Smith is dancing with us. And now, let's get back to learning. Finally, it's lunchtime. Hello, delicious food. And my friend takes out her notebook. Are you still studying? What about lunch? Relax, my food for today is a jelly notebook. And this is my spoon pen. Pour gelatin and vanilla sugar in the warm milk. Mix well. Pour the mixture into a mold the size of a notebook with edges. Refrigerate it for an hour. Glue the mold with the jelly into a notebook cover. Close it and attach a label. Trim a plastic spoon and glue it to the bottom of a pen. While I'm enjoying my normal lunch, my friend is eating a notebook. We have such different tastes. Miss Smith is really hitting her educational stride. I'm so interested in what she has to say that I've chewed through half my pen, but Jessica has a way to help me out. Sweet candy pens. Roll up a big licorice candy a little so it gets rounder. Cut out an edge of the filling. Remove the rod from a marker and put it into a cut piece of a straw. Seal the base of the straw with hot glue. Put the mini rod into the candy. Cover it with a marker cap. Sharpen a thin piece of licorice on one side. Trim a pen rod and seal it with hot glue. Insert it into the candy. Close it with a pen cap of a different color. Make a few pens. What a useful gift. Chewing on a candy is way better for my teeth than gnawing on plastic. 
And Jessica is chewing on a marker. It's made out of candy too. But it still works. Miss Smith has a sixth sense for candy. She noticed immediately that there are Skittles hidden in this pencil case. Cut the cap and the neck off a clean plastic bottle from washing detergent. Glue it into a trimmed cardboard tube from paper towels. And glue a pencil case on the other side. Prime it and paint it pink. Roll small smushed orbs out of multicolored light clay, the same shape as Skittles. Glue a Skittles logo onto the tube. Attach the clay candies and pour actual Skittles into the cap. Let's check out this pencil case. Ha! I knew it! Here we go! Sweet rule violations! You're not allowed to have Skittles in class! Miss Smith confronted her students and ate all their candies. What are these smacking noises? It's Jessica chewing gum in class. Hey, spit that out right now! But Jessica gets some new gum right away. Where are you getting this from? Simple, really. Out of my soft pink utility knife. Connect a few pieces of gum of the same color. Roll them out in a thin layer. Take apart a utility knife. Cut the gum to be the size of the blade. Cut an opening near the base with a straw. Use a knife to make small markings. Put the gum in the fridge. Insert the chilled gum blade into the body of the real knife. Jessica swallows the blade of a knife like a circus performer. Whoa, what a trick! Did you like our tasty school life hacks? Then let us know in the comments about what foods you'll sneak into class instead of school supplies. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell so you don't miss new school life hacks from Troom Troom.